Hello and welcome to UMA 301, all about race creation. So over the next few episodes, we will be converting uh, this model into an UMA. Um, and that will allow us to clothe it ourselves, put our own modification on, our own DNA, and do what we like. Now this is a massive subject, and there are lots of ways to tackle it. Uh, what I've decided to do is basically run through a practical example, step by step, how to do it, and then afterwards maybe go through some of the details. But I think if we dive in and actually learn by doing, we'll get results a lot quicker, and uh, hopefully you'll enjoy it. So, um, where do we get our models from? <laughs> the eternal question. If you have the talent or the skill, or you've watched one of these lovely training videos, perhaps you've modelled your own character, um, or if you have a huge amount of money, maybe you've bought iClone and you can create these wonderful, realistic-looking characters. Um, maybe if you've not got quite so much money, um, perhaps you've looked at Daz 3D. Oh, it's free! Yes, until you actually want to use them in a game. But again, wonderful models, really good fun. So uh, you can pick things up from Daz. Um, you can also use the rather wonderful Blender plugin from Manuel Bastioni with their strange licensing restrictions. But these are still really, really nice models that we could convert. Um, but where we're going to start, um, there's a number of reasons I'm doing this, is we're going to use uh, Adobe's Fuse model creation system okay the reason for this is it's a relatively low poly rig compared to some of the high-end solutions uh, it's still higher poly than uh, our standard umas and we can still do an awful lot with it but also it creates some really useful things so when we make a character using fuse um, we'll get a nice clean bone structure and we will get some morphs which we are going to use as well so this is what we're going to do it's completely free if you download it uh, you need a an adobe account to do so but if you download that you can crack on making characters uh, it's really fun and easy as well so i suggest you do that have a play with it and then come back to this video so here we are in adobe fuse and uh, i'm going to create my first generic character so let's pick male fit a and select his head, the matching torso, legs, and arms. Okay, so we've got our mesh created. Next thing I want to do is neutralize him. Um, so you'll see that there are some hair textures which are added by default to our character. So I want rid of those. So if I head over to the texture panel, um, click on the mesh, and down here we've got facial hair. Uh, and I'm just going to switch all of these to none. Um, there we go. Lovely, he looks nice and scary now. But again, that means we have full control. We can add whatever hair we want later on. Um, we can also change the texture resolution. So here you can see it's a 1024 by 1024. Um, I'm going to up that to 2048 and it will recalculate just because um, I like to be able to reduce that myself when it's in UMA rather than having to cope with a low resolution and uh, wishing that I had a better one. Either way we can fiddle around and get textures from other sources which I may show you later on. Okay um, the one thing that we can't do in the uh, Adobe version of Fuse is we can't remove underwear uh, they have a modesty mode so we're kind of stuck with that but again like I say I'm going to show you later on how we can get new textures for our fuse characters so this guy's ready to go um, now all we need to do is to upload him to the Mixamo site and get him auto rigged for us so if we head up here and say send to Mixamo we'll give him a name and we'll call this fuse male base save that and wait for the upload and once that's finished the Mixmo website should open automatically 
and begin rigging our character. And before you know it, look at that. There's our character fully rigged and ready to go. And what it will also do, um, you could fiddle around with some settings here, but I'd leave these alone. It will also create some facial blend shapes. So this is one of the reasons I wanted to use a fuse character. We have skeletal um, stuff in there, but we also have some blend shapes, which we can use as well. Uh, so I'm going to hit finish and obviously I've been doing this before so I'm saying replace the last character I used and I'm going to hit download. In here um, we can change the format to FBX for Unity. Um, I recommend doing this, it just crunches everything into a single file so all of the textures will all be stored in there as well. Makes life a lot easier. Um, I'm going to hit download. And that guy should appear on our hard drive shortly. So here we are in Blender. Let's load up our model and see what we've got. So file, import, FBX. And I save mine on my desktop. Here he is. Um, let's not mess around with any of the settings for now. If we just import him as he is, we'll see what we get. So uh, there's our character. You can see the mesh is there. There are also some bones, which you should be able to see poking out of the mesh. Um, brilliant, this looks good. So let's uh, let's have a look at him with his materials on. So if we switch over to material mode, again, we can't see anything because we have no lights. So let's quickly fix that. I'm going to add um, a lamp, a point lamp, and let's pull it forward and up, and a little bit that way. Now you'll see straight away um, there's obviously something wrong with the material. Uh, all it is is it hasn't refreshed when it's been imported. And to fix that, very, very easy. Let's just have some room in this hierarchy. I'm going to open up the armature, find one of the meshes, such as the body, and I'm going to hit the material inspector. As soon as I do that, it will refresh, and you should see the eyes uh, now have that material on. Uh, one thing, I didn't want eyelashes here. Um, we can see the mesh has actually come over even though we turned the texture off. So I'm just going to select it, right click and delete them. So we're down to our basic character now. Okay, this is good. So um, I'm just going to add a couple more lights. The reason being I don't like when I turn around seeing blackness. So um, let's select this one, Shift D to duplicate. I'm going to drop one down here and let's just ease that intensity off just so we get some shadow. That looks good. Um, I'm going to duplicate one more time and put this light around the back. And again, let's just pull that intensity back up and maybe lift that one up as well. Okay, so what we should see now is a character with some reasonable shadows but that we can still actually see our mesh. That looks great. Right, I'm happy with that. So, what have we got? Um, well, let's have a look at the bone structure first. If we uh, select the armature and hit the armature inspector, um, let's just switch X-Ray on, and you should be able to see our bone structure that's been created by the Mixamo website. That looks fabulous. Um, these strange bones at the top here uh, these ones are the eye bones. Now, they're in this orientation. They look a little bit odd, um, but they're lined up so that when we rotate them in Z, our eyes will move left to right. So this orientation is important. What I don't particularly like is the fact they're sticking right out the top of the head. So all I'm going to do is go into edit mode, select, ah, I'm in edit mode for the body. Watch out for that make sure I select the armature and head into edit mode. Now I can pick the bones and fiddle with them. So these two bones here, I'm going to very quickly uh, go to bone edit mode and change this tail value, the Y to 170. Okay, and you can see all it does is shrink that tail position down. And it just makes them a little bit neater in our model, which I'm happy with. That's good. What I'm also going to do while I'm in edit mode here, I'm going to select these extension bones. So this top bone, um, I'm going to delete. We're not going to use them at all. 
let's do the same over here Whoop, mad camera movements there sorry let's do the same over here by shift selecting all of these end bones sticking out the fingers and deleting those do the same on the other side again shift select all of these and hit delete and finally the two that are sticking out the end of the feet let's shift select those if I actually zoom in I might be able to do it there we are delete lovely so I've now tidied up my rig uh, and this is where I want as a starting point um, a couple of things you may notice so there was obviously those eye bones sticking out at the top of the head we've also got a bit of a disconnect here between the, um, the top spine bone the neck and the head again this is what we want if we connected these bones up for example um, this neck bone if we actually put the tail here it will would move the axis of that bone so if we rotated it uh, let's go into pause mode if we selected that bone and rotated around the Z um, it would rotate at an angle whereas at the moment it's lined up with the world Z which to be honest is probably more like what we want if we're going to use IK or something like that with our um, character so don't worry if these look a little bit odd uh, the orientations are set up correctly so what else have we got here what you may notice is we don't have any facial bones other than the eyes so we can't open his mouth using bones we can't fiddle with any of the facial features using bones that's quite different from a Numa character however one thing that came from Mixamo was um, let's have a look at the body mesh and examine the mesh properties you can see we have our vertex groups which are all of our mappings to um, the bone weights but we also have these shape keys these are our morphs so shape keys is um, is what blender calls blend shapes so let's have a little look we've got nose scrunch here if I quickly pull that you can see we get this movement um, in fact there's I think there's around 50 of them in here uh, which is absolutely great so they're a bit randomly distributed so I'm very quickly going to press this plus button and say sort them alphabetically and I want to look for let me have a look jaw there we are mouth open so I can actually control the character's face using these blend shapes that we've got now these are really nice um, so we're going to have a look at using these in Uma as well so that's our fuse character ready to go uh, we've simplified it and uh, in the next session we will start converting him into an Uma I'll see you then and once again I'd like to say a big thank you to my patrons for making this possible uh, if you would like to support me feel free to click that link at the end of the video thank you very much and I'll see you next time